Hi again, and welcome to Doing Life with Itsy on a Bitsy Budget. Today we're going to go out and do some new morning chores. Let's see what they are. Okay, so what I have to do, our sprinkler system is messed up for some reason, so my husband said I have to wait to turn it on. So I'm having to water my plants I'm planting um, morning and some evenings. Just depends on the day. So yesterday it was real hot, so I'm going to um, water these plants. But also, I was just going to show you, these are some of the things that I've still got to plant, but I just got them last weekend. I'd like to get them good and um, healthy for about a week before I start planting them. I planted these two planters. You know, if you look at our previous videos, you can see that I've been working on my yard a little bit. But um, I haven't got my plants for this yet, although a rose is coming back up in here from last year so I've been keeping it good and watered because I think I might just add to it and um, I've got an idea of using some lantana and then I'm going to put these little white plants in there but these little um, urns I'm already finished with and uh, I've already noticed that the hummingbirds are coming to them so I'm real happy about that but uh, we'll turn this off for a second and we'll go in front of the pool and I'll show you what that's looking like so here's what I've done in front of the pool um, if you remember, I cut back this because it died a little bit in the winter, and you can see it's coming right back out. It's a um, hibiscus. I think it's pink. And then these I've planted, which they start looking better as soon as the sun hits them. But it's a moss rose, and it's a ground cover. I couldn't get as many as I wanted to get, but that's okay because they'll spread out. Now, I prefer to plant smaller plants when I plant just because of the root system. It kind of takes off and they go where they need to go. But I give them a little water in the morning and then again late afternoon. Um, these are the palm trees I cut back and you can see they're starting to uh, sprout new little leaves coming straight out. So cutting them back was a great idea. Um, they did get affected this year by the winter. And um, my little swans here, I've got, Jennifer, I don't know if you can go in the, look at how cute the butt side of this is. I've got a little bit of, so I'll always put a little extra water in and freshen up the um, bird baths while I'm doing this. But the succulents that I have in the back of these turn out to be real cute. They get big like a rose butt. So I kind of, when I plant things, I kind of try to make sure that I plant something like these to me look like feathers and the hummingbirds and um, butterflies really like them. And then I'll put that succulent to kind of hold the plant dirt in and it gets to be about, about I don't know, the size of a, a saucer and it looks real cute. But as you can see, you know, everything we cut back from the winter is still coming back. I only lost one thing this year out by the pool and um, I've replaced it with some with a cigar bush and some butterfly bushes. Now you can see I've got a little bit of weeds to take care of in here but I just pulled those up right when they come up and uh, also actually I lost this uh, hibiscus too this year so I plant I got a new one um, so hopefully it'll be blooming in the next couple of days. It's got some nice buds there. But all right, we'll move around the yard and I'll show you some other things. Okay, this flower bed is um, one I've just about finished. Uh, these are ferns from last year and they'll come back. They'll look real good in about another couple of weeks. I planted this, I got some of these plants, I got on um, the 75 percent clearance at um, Lowe's. I always try to save a little money where I can on some of the plants. And um, so you'll notice like some of the begonias like that's real small and there's another one over there but they're starting to come out. They've been here about a week and I just kind of did this in a little stall up. Uh, this Gerber daisy seems to be liking it here. Um, it started blooming again. I'll have to cut off those blooms. And then I always have a fern that I keep up here. And I add a few, I kind of do colors of the same type of nature. Like here I've got pink. I have another place that has red in my yard and another place that has purple. And then I add some white. Um, one of my favorite things to plant 
like a ground cover is creeping jenny and i have it in a few of my dish gardens too and so um i'll show you some of that but it's back there starting to grow and i always freshen up my little bird bath we've had lots of birds so i just keep all these watered once or twice a day evening and morning but i think that once they grow together it'll look real pretty this year usually i put impatience out here so i changed it around and then mary's little garden here i put these little wispy flowers they're ground cover i don't know the name of them but they like it here just fine some more ferns over on this side so we'll give you a tour as it progresses but you can see that it's starting to come along and things are growing so i'll keep watering and we'll come back to you in a few minutes uh, here's the last little area i want to show you um, we have a swing here and i sit here and see the birds drink out of this bird bath so i really like having it down here um, i bought it from an estate sale and it was kind of just sitting down like that and i thought well i don't need it um, propped up or anything but i wanted to point out these geraniums i actually got on um, the 75 percent off sale too in the back of um, Lowe's, they have plants that are discounted. Don't be afraid to take a chance. If they look like they come back, they probably will. I've just been keeping them, you know, good and moist, watering them a couple times a day, which typically geraniums don't like that much water, but when, they're, when you're trying to bring them back, it's a good um, idea to water them a couple times a day. You don't have to really drench them, but I give them a good amount of water. And then this is something I've had for years it's also a red um, hibiscus so I cut it back earlier in the spring and it's already starting to come right back out so it'll be blooming in no time I hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe share and follow and I'll see you next time